There she goes again. Go. No. Fuck. Forty-six. Alright, here we go. Twenty-two Celsius. Twenty-six laps. Get ready, mate. Floor it. Green, green, green. Car left. Still there. Stay, stay. Clear left. I don't know why you're trying to make pass in the first turn, dude. You're just gonna cause an accident. Uh, it's called Motor Race Engage. Perfect start, mate. This is great. Oh, he's too close. I would have put the DRS going down like you Oh! Left side. Take advantage of that. Oh my god, Jesus! Watch it, Shervin. Literally drove me off the track there. He was trying to <laughs> open up 130R as much as possible. Oh, little wobble there. Freebie. Look like the, look like the guy saved it. Ugh. In the wrong gear there. Oh my! Really? Bias being nice and kind and letting me rejoin. Oh, on your right. Press the wrong button. Still there. <laughs> Clear right. That used to be my old push the talk button, guys. <laughs> I was going to say thank you to Tobias for letting me rejoin. <laughs> Didn't want to look left. Right, well, we know Tobias is quick. Let's see if we can follow Tobias through the pack here. Sixteenth place. Very, very fortunate to still be in the race here. Oh, someone else has, had, has lost it into T1 there. Big puff of smoke. Lots of spinners here, myself included. Car left. Clear left. I thought I'd risk it. I thought I'd risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Oh, 
Oh, James has just gone very wide there. Car right. Clear right. Oh, Tobias hasn't got DRS, is he? Oh my! Jesus, that was close. <laughs> you fucking stupid dude. He's not happy. All right, Tobias is in a slipstream. We'll get the RS. If he wants to overtake, I will happily let him work together, try and get to... Try and work our way up the pack if we can. Yellow flag, caution. Where's the bias gone? It's just gone. Did he crash out? He's had a disconnection. He was right behind me in the S's. Yes, he's now. lost it. That was odd. Well, head down. What's nice in this monitor now, guys, is that I've got all this information available to me. The relative, the standings, the trap map. I can see exactly where I am trap position-wise. Catching the guys ahead.
can't quite get that last chicane right. Come on, front end. Buy it. Catching this gaggle. We've just had a warning for cutting the track. Riley and Marcel are having a good fight out front, aren't they? Mega quick, those guys. to lift out the throttle there. Careful on the throttle, Scott. Careful on the throttle. But this guy's building. The gap's now 0.2. Just gonna wait. He'll get his DRS. Wasn't far enough alongside there to really force a move into 130R. He hasn't got DRS. Not quite fluid through the Degnas as I'd like to be. On the brake and just, yeah, everything. Oh my left. God! Left. Jesus! I swear to you, I blinked and then before I know it, yeah. He was there. <laughs> Come on, surely we got enough into T1. Eighth place. On your left, clear left. That's the stuff. Happy days.
Now to chase down Bryce. Sub of the channel. Cut the track. Oh, that's so slow, Scott. I'm, um... I will admit, guys, the one thing that... Um, of course, understandably, I'm struggling with going to a monitor. Well, I say struggle with, that's me being harsh on myself, but having to adapt to is the depth perception. So obviously being in VR, uh, my braking, I feel like sometimes I'm braking a little bit too hard and um, a little bit too early sometimes. Um, or I'm going too deep. <laughs> So something that is going to take a little bit of practice. But up into P7. Very hot track temperatures. Tyres taking a big pound in. I'm in all the wrong gear out. I can smell a P5 though. Once again, not the smoothest. My, my transition onto and off the brake is a little bit iffy at the moment. But right, we're lap 11 out of 26. Still a way to go before we pit. Yeah, see that there. Look, I'm just completely lost my bearings there. Sorry. Right, I was about to do a Latifi. Honestly, <laughs> I was looking at the wrong chicane. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, you can do better than this. Try him, Jim. Try him. Just uh, have to lift off throttle there. Have to admit defeat. But the car is just not going to turn in. Well, I'm trying to think how many laps do we pit? 13 laps maybe? Oh, I'm racking up a lot of off tracks at the moment. So Riley's in the pits. I'm going to follow Riley's lead. I'm going to follow his lead. Riley knows what he's doing. The car ahead's pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. And Bryce speed knows what he's doing as well. Kilometers per hour. You got plenty of fuel. There we go. Lovely. The car behind's pitting. All right. To be careful now. Limit exit looks clear. Got someone approaching. So, I think these tyres will be alright to the end. We've got um, 
We see lots of fuel light now. Forty-six degree track temperature though. The leader is that is now. hot. But yeah, Marcel had to react to Riley up front. The They're having a close battle. Two point three seconds. Right, so we have tyre in P8, who hasn't pitted yet, he's on medium tyres. Bryce has pitted. Oh, bit of a lock up there. It's a car leaving the pit lane. I think we've closed the gap on... P9, that's half distance, you're looking good for fuel. I don't know actually. Jesus. Oh my god. Connection S. Funny enough, the cat jumped up and I had lag and connection issues. Luna, have you got. What are you doing? I swear to you, that's got to be something to do with the cat there. She walked past twice, and both times I had connection issues. Odd, very odd. The gap behind is now 2.1. The leader's just done it, 130.7. Right, try to catch up to Bryce again now, because... Oh. Or this pack in front. So yeah, we closed the gap on John. He was in P4. Or 3, something like that. During those pit stops. Abnormal lap discontinuity. Oh, someone's gone. It's Aaron. Little freebie there. He'd gone from soft. Luna, you've done it again. Oh my god, the cat is doing something to my connection. Luna, every time I close up on breasts. The leader has just done a 130.3. That is so bizarre. The gap in front is now 2.8 seconds. Please, just stay there, Luna. She's right behind the monitor right now. Right there. P6, good luck. That's your quickest today. There she goes, again. Go! No. Fuck! Cut the track. Keep it nice and tidy. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea what happened there. 
Oh. God knows, guys. God knows. Oh, all right. Well, we've got we still got ten laps or well, nine laps. Maybe we can catch up. We nearly lost P7 there to Shervin. Nothing's ever easy with me, is it? Invalid disconnect. Discontinuity clock snatch. What? Well, thankfully, it seems like Bryce and John kind of went side by side for a little bit because I've made up a good old second on them there. They're fine, which is good. They're side by side for the first corner. Your last lap time was at Come on. Gaining on the guy in front. The gap we is are gaining. be able to get involved soon. Bryce is right on the back of him, waiting for the DRS into turn one. Oh, they're going side by side for the chicane. Go on, lads. Side by side through turn one. The gap behind is now. Hey, fair, respectful rating in front. They literally went side by side through the S's. Unbelievable, but they're still alive, both of them. John's on the medium tyre as well. I mean, he's doing really good. Come on.
Hey, Riley's absolutely smashing it out of front. They've got DRS again. I don't think he's close enough. Bryce is defending. Oh, he's ran the outside. Unbelievable racing in front, guys. Come on, I want to join the party. Five laps left after this. Oh, he's gone wide. You're in the sky in the gaps now, 0.9. V6. All right, nicely positioned here. Not quite tucked up as much as uh, Bryce is, though, on John. Hi, guys. Can I join? That last light was at 132.7. Turn the DRS off it. We'll seconds. just make him a bit nervous. You got a much better drive than me there, Bryce. I've got to play this smart. Enough to overtake Bryce here. Stay close, wait for him to make a mistake. Need to be careful here. Now I'm the one in the dirty air. Not that careful though, Scott. Push, push, push. We can get this guy. Brass went deep. He's lost the RS, I think. Oh, right. oh. Right side's clear. Sorry about that, Bryce. Oh. Damn it. Little hot. Little little too hot there. Gap in front has increased to 1.2 seconds. Oh, I wonder if we got damage from that. Probably.
Yeah, I think we got damage. Oh, that's a shame. I was just trying to stay close. I joined the party and I spoiled the party. May not be over yet though. Something may happen between Bryce and John, but they've been very respectful. Bryce is actually overtaking John. Oh man, I've just got Yeah. Got no front end. Well no front down force. Stay in it though, something may happen. Two more laps. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 3.0. Two laps left. Oh, they're going at it. Oh, horrible. Ah. <sighs> Last lap, guys. Last lap. One more lap to go. That was a uh, 135.1. Sector one is 1.4 off the pace. All right, Jim. I know. I know. The gap in front is increasing. 
cruising. It's now 4.4 seconds. Oh, is something going to happen between those two into the last chicane? I don't think Bryce is close enough. And across the line. P6. Sixth place. Okay, it's I'll over. take it. Good drive. Nice 51 I rating gained. Could have been a top five. Considering we had the spin. Uh, made some good overtakes. Yeah, just a shame there. About the contact with Bryce. Oh, but let's go have a look back at uh, both my incidents, shall we? Just have a look at... See exactly what occurred. So, an interesting race to say the least. I'll take P6 after all of the ups and downs that we had in that race. So, just to summarize, guys, uh, I found out after watching the video back why Luna, when she walked past or was coming past, that I had the connection issues. It's because she was um, tagging the webcam that is over my shoulder that I'm using for third party camera angles. Um, so, because of that, it loosened the connection and, and caught some connectivity issues so uh yeah note yourself for next time but let's have a quick look here at the spin that we had that for me was i don't know just felt a little bit bizarre because i i i don't feel like that the spin should have happened but i'm just watching it back now in slow motion i think i actually started to lose it because I hit the inside curb. I think it starts to go before I get on the outside curb. Or well, hitting the inside curb, as we know. I should know by now. Silly Scott, hit myself around the head. Um, to stay off the curbs. Uh, I think the car was still just a little bit unsettled as we went over this right-hand curb. And you can see the back ends just kind of wiggling a little bit, getting down on throttle here, and it's goes the rear left rear just goes as soon as we get on that curb so i think that was that was why uh, but i didn't really feel it in the car at the time uh, so yeah thankfully though as we see here I, i'm still not quite sure how the car managed to spin back round the right way <laughs> um i'm gonna put it all down to my skill and technique guys i've had plenty of experience of spinning out of control in this car <laughs> uh well that's the spin and let's go have a look at when we hit bryce and just see exactly what happened there so here we are coming up to the hairpin bryce locks up goes a little bit wide i wasn't quite on the apex as i'd like but i've got a bit of a run on him now as you can see in the slipstream and all i was thinking here up to spoon was right let's try and stay close let's try and get a run down through 130i into the chicane and yeah, I, me and Bryce discussed this after the race. Um, I Obviously, a very different approach there um, in regards to speed and braking in regards to going through Spoon Corner. I hadn't followed Bryce as closely through that corner in previous laps. I was always a little bit further away to kind of see how he would take that corner um, and judge it. Normally, I'd leave a little bit of room, but I just wanted to get the move kind of done into the chicane um, because I've had a thought maybe we'd have a chance of of getting the DRS from in front if we was able to do that so let's just have a look in slow motion and you can see there yeah I'm just just a difference in regards to carrying a speed a little bit of difference in regards to line and because of that we picked up front right wing damage you can see here that the indentation of the Mercedes logo and the 
the front right, and obviously as we're looking at the left of the nose cone there is uh, is bent in. We can see, look, nice and straight. And then after we hit brass in the rear, there we go, bent in. Warrants it, to be honest, in real life. If that happens, you probably see bits of carbon fly, uh, fiber flying off of the front wing, especially at those speeds. Um, so, yeah, a bit of a shame there because then that... I spoiled the party. Um, I was hoping that we could get at least P5 there and maybe even push for that P4 position and have a good um, battle in the last couple of laps as Bryce was able to do with John in front. But unfortunately, yeah, we wasn't able to get as involved as I would have liked, but kind of all my own doing really because of that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, an interesting race overall, take P6 after starting 15th, dropping all the way back down to 17th at one point. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm, I'm learning guys. I'm getting used to the monitor bit by bit. We'll, we'll get there. The pace will get there. Uh, a little bit inconsistent at the moment, but to be expected. But I hope you guys are enjoying these new videos um, on the Ultra Wide Monitor. Plenty of more content coming your way. So remember to hit that like and subscribe button, turn those notifications on, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye.